Recently, I watched an interview between two marketing experts, and they were lamenting to each other about how hard it has become, and increasingly so, to get clients, uh, to uh, stand out above others in an increasingly noisy content environment. Uh, they said, you know, what worked five years ago no longer works now, and, and even what worked last year doesn't even work as well now. And it's like, how do we keep up with all these new technologies and new strategies and, and rise above the noise, etc.? And I thought, it is so sad that um, people are doing business from that standpoint, which is actually a mainstream, traditional, very widespread mindset. And I'm going to call this mindset the competitive business mindset. Okay? And I'm going to suggest to you an alternative, which is the cooperative business mindset, or you might, you might, I might even want to call it the humanitarian business mindset, which is imagine using strategies that you would want everybody else to use. Wouldn't that be a novel thing? Instead of thinking, oh, I just found the latest strategy and I hope that I'm the only one in my niche that knows about this and that uses this so I can be on top and, and um, get the business before other people get the business, right? Because that's usually how business is taught. If you follow most other business strategists. Um, but I'm gonna say there are strategies where you wish other, your you wish your competitors would also use such strategies because then the whole tide is lifting all boats that everyone benefits. And so let me give you kind of four keys to doing cooperative or humanitarian business. The first key is generosity. Generosity is in, in terms of content, okay, especially. So imagine if you would want your competitors and everybody to be creating, to be sharing their very best messages so that everybody can benefit, including you, including your clients, okay? And that also inspires you from their generosity of spirit. It inspires you to also be generous and saying, let me share my best as well. Because look, nobody's holding back. Everybody's sharing their best so that everybody can benefit. And it's really the generosity comes from the intention. It's not that, oh, I'm going to share my best so that I can crush every, all the other competition. No, it's I'm going to share my best to help my clients, your clients, help, help you, the competitor. I'm going to help everybody. And I hope that you'll do the same so that we can all learn more quickly together and rise together so that we can go on to sharing even better content. So generosity is the first key. The second key, I would say, is connection. Rather than competing and saying, let me uh, get the business before you do, um, let me try to get all the business and let me make sure my clients don't know about you kind of thing if, if you were a competitor, I'll say, let's connect so that I can better understand how to refer the right people to you. At what stages do you help them best? And you can refer the right people to me at what stages I help people best. So if we all connect more, okay, whether it's with competitors or whether it's with niche mates or whether it's with colleagues or friends, we would all have more business. We would all have more referrals. The third key would be focus. As you connect for referrals, you'll, you'll discover more and more where you can be truly excellent in the ecosystem of services that are your colleagues, okay? If everybody could focus on a, t a particular type of person or solving particular problems for particular types of people at particular stages, we would all have enough business. Rather than saying, oh, I can solve uh, eight problems A to Z for anybody, then suddenly I'm in competition with everybody else, even somebody who solves problem M. I'm in competition now because I can solve problem A to Z, right? My modality is so great, I could solve all the problems. And so focus is the third key focus in our in our niching so that we can truly be excellent in our craft. It's really hard to be excellent solving problems A to Z. It's much easier to be excellent solving problem M. Okay, focus is the third key. And finally, the fourth key is love. Wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't you want your competitors to also truly love their clients and to truly love their colleagues like you, to truly love their audience so that you feel really good about referring people to them who are right for them. And so for you as well, truly love your clients 
so that you are keep you keep getting better and better at the services you're providing for them keep delighting your clients more and more keep loving your colleagues referring them the business okay if everybody did that you would want everyone to do that because then business works for everyone so I hope that this is an, an inspiring alternative view to the mainstream hyper competitive type of business that's always trying to keep up in exhausting ways this way is much more uh, gen it's it's diligent but it's a more of a, a gentle inspirational cooperative kind of diligence that lifts everyone up so it makes you feel really good about the kind of business you're doing so I'm George Cow always open to your comments and your questions and until the next video I wish you well.